It's a big, deep-fried slice of Americana. It's a combination of traditional skills and new fads. It's a noisy, exuberant contradiction, kind of like America itself, and it's always been that way. The first state fair was held in Syracuse, New York in 1841 to promote agriculture and home manufacturing. It was an educational event, but the planners knew it would need a little entertainment, so they staged a plowing contest. The fair was a hit from the beginning. Despite heavy rains that turned the fairgrounds into a muddy field, between 10,000 and 15,000 people came. In subsequent years, the entertainment expanded. There were horse pulling contests, horse races, and prizes for the best produce. Other states followed New York's example. For the 90% of Americans who lived on a farm in those days, the State Fair became their annual introduction to what was going on in the larger world. For example, fairgoers in Illinois saw their first tractor at the 1858 State Fair, according to a Post article. The State Fair would have been where farm families might have seen their first electric lights, automobiles, motion pictures, and airplanes. There they saw strange people and wild entertainment. This wasn't like life on the farm. Today, only 2% of Americans live on farms, but millions of urban Americans still come to state fairs. Part of the appeal is its sense of tradition mixed with a carnival atmosphere. Where else can you see the traditional alongside the exotic? The riding skills of yesterday and today. The rewards of hard work and a lucky toss. It's a lot like America, an unexpected mixture of the strange and the familiar. Something that may look a little odd, but actually tastes pretty good. Mm.